Hey, what's up y'all? You're watching Max's View. Today we're gonna be talking about heat tape and racks. We're gonna be talking about watering system for your rodent racks. And we're gonna show some of the footage from an ARBC. So let's get started. So this is the only time you'll ever get to see me strip anything on camera. Alright, so I got most of this installed, got this wired up, so I'm going to do the connections on these after I install the tape on the rack. So here's my end result on this. I've got one side tape down and then I left a little leeway so I can do all the crimping. This is THG heat tape so I could go ahead and do the hole punching and crimping um, since there's multiple layers in between. So here's my cable. It's going to be going through on the very bottom. Other than that, it's gonna be a parallel circuit. Speaking of parallel circuit, here's my five gallon bucket and a gravity watering system. Oh, my little rats. The last thing I need to do is put in the plug. All right, so here I am with the finished product. Uh, we got the heat tape installed. I went ahead and installed the plug. I installed the insulation tape and I uh, got a couple snakes in there and uh, got it all set up. So what's important for when you do have a rack set up before you put snakes in there is you temp gun it. All right, so there's a couple ways to check your temperature. You could have an analog thermometer this one also has a humidity gauge on it um, you could have an electrical thermometer which gives you more precise reading but me personally I always enjoy a good temp gun and this way you can check your temperature and read it easily there's a little red laser tells you what your temperature is exactly where you're pointing at it now of course when there's substrate in there the basking spots not going to be right there at 90 it's gonna be a little bit less so here we are with the racks some of them are still empty and everything is set up and of course this is one rack of a few let's be holding the snakes got a couple PVC enclosures all right and I got my incubator set up as well this one's just the exoterra one to hold a couple clutches of eggs uh, for some smaller species so this is what I'll be hooking up to it, and then I'll be putting another thermostat for this, uh, for these PVC enclosures. And then here soon, I'm gonna have some eggs. Let's check. No eggs yet, but swelling good. Anyway, y'all, that's gonna wrap it up for me for this video. Me and Lynn here are gonna hang out and keep cleaning up the shop. So I'll see y'all next time.